hi everyone oh my god so today obviously as you can tell by the title i'm doing like a brat transformation i'm actually not turning myself into an actual bratz doll i'm not like doing the whole like james charles bratz look i'm just gonna like be inspired by a bratz doll so this is the bratz doll i'm inspired by she's gorgeous she's cute what is with all the helicopters and planes bye yeah, i thought i'd do something fun and i was a big bratz fan growing up watched all the movies and yeah so we'll talk some bratz today and everything and oh my god <laughs> you probably can't tell i tried to dye my hair pink <laughs> without bleach and as you can see it didn't work so this is supposed to last like eight washes i think but you can't really tell there's like a hint of like purpley pink i think it just looks a bit darker kind of stupid kind of pointless but you know what it's a vibe so yeah i might as well get started i'm using the mac carbon prime i have been absolutely thriving with my new phone i love it so much and i have been playing lots of animal crossing and po and tamagotchi i don't really like the tamagotchi app i think it's a bit of a like money making scheme if i must say so myself maybe you guys can like add me on like animal crossing or something <laughs> my Bidesco spray so I'm starting off with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brows Pencil. This Brett Stoll's eyebrows are very on fleek. So yeah, when I was younger, I lived for Bratz on another level. I was a Barbie girl, but I was definitely a Bratz girl. I had those like DVD pack of things and I had like a portable little movie player. I don't really know what they're called, but whenever I would go on like road trips, I would always watch like Bratz. Another movie I would always watch is The Seal, Romeo and Juliet. Oh my God, such an astounding nostalgic movie for me i have so many like nostalgic movies i was like thinking about them the other day and i was like oh my god i have to like write these down and talk about them but let's talk about some brats ones first the brats like sleepover the fairy one the genie one there's just like so many and the twins oh my god i forgot their name iconic i was obsessed with brats babies not many people know about the brats babies brats babies <laughs> That one. Oh my god so good okay there are some like really weird movies that i have in my memory and they're just like they kind of like haunted me because they're so weird and like honestly scary like i'm surprised i watched them at a young age the dark crystal i can't even like explain that movie i don't even want to remember it i don't honestly remember it. i just remember like the creatures and like the characters who came up with that and why and like i asked my friends like oh my god did you ever watch the dark crystal and they're like no so maybe i'm the only one i'm using the 24 hour brow set by benefit and all of the products are in the description the never-ending story i don't really remember much i don't know if it's the right movie that i'm thinking of there's like a dragon and also in one scene the horse is like drowning in quicksand probably what i'm talking about right now it doesn't make a lot of sense to a lot of you guys because like these movies are just like so weird but basically i was scarred and i was like so distraught and upset because the horse like died in the quicksand i'll talk about some more like generic movies that maybe we've forgotten about because i forgot about them the land before time the dinosaurs are just like so iconic i don't remember anything from the show i just remember the characters <laughs> so i don't actually know if it was a good show or not kimba the white lion i came across a video about how the lion king copied kimba the white lion you can see like like those conspiracy videos about kimba the white lion and the lion king like kimba simba like oh but yeah it's kind of shady the whole backstory but yeah you guys can go research that for yourself <laughs> it's watch doctor who religiously it's not a very big show in australia i think in the uk it's huge but i watched it like every weekend and i think there's like two different episodes like i don't remember anything but these two like scenes still have me horrified to this day one of them is <laughs> the one where that there's i'll just insert a picture this this is in the show like stretched skin i don't know and there's another one and there's like angel statues well basically in doctor who they come alive and then like when you don't look at them or something they like move and they come closer to you and then they like kill you like so scary and like that spirit horse movie and chicken little the movies over the hedge and open season i thought they were the same movies but apparently not and yeah they're just like some weird 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 movies and shows that i remember but yeah i'm gonna move on to the eyeshadow so basically in this look she has like a kind of mauvey purple kind of color on her lid and then it blends into like a grayish brown so that's what i'ma do i'ma do that taking this color i'm gonna put that all on my lid I never really do smoky eyes and it's for a good reason because I look hideous with smoky eyes. And also she isn't really rocking a wing. So that's a problem for me because I love wings. And that looks really 
really good now taking this cool tone brown i'm gonna start to blend upwards towards my brow bone barbie she's cute and all like she's pretty she's petite she's like the girl next door but like brats if you are a brats no one's gonna mess with you and you will take barbie's man anyway the reason i thought i would do this is because someone made like a tiktok video about me and they're like brats is people and i was yasmin so now I'm turning into Yasmin. But growing up, my fave was Chloe because I wanted to be blonde and I wanted to have blue eyes. But now I'm accepting myself for who I am. Okay, and her brow bone is like white. So I'm gonna grab some coily with this shade, the white shade, and I'm just gonna bloop, bloop, bloop. So I'm taking some of this and I'm putting it on the outer corner. So I'm gonna take some of this kind of purpley color. I'm gonna put that like here. She is wearing bottom liner, which is a problem because I don't make my eyes look very small. So I'm just going to do like a tiny wing. So I'm just going to make a very small wing. It's not really a wing. It's just kind of like a, a block. I just have to like keep reaffirming to myself that it will come together in the end and then it will. You know what I mean? I look really funny. So this is shade Tahoe, which is too dark for my face, but it actually matches my body body perfectly and i'm also going to use some of this barley body and just mix that in with the foundation my nails have lasted so freaking long and they still look good apart from the fact that they have paint all over them because of my painting journey right now taking hourglass vanish stick in linen okay so in my other like transformation video i forgot which one i think it was the staying cute during quarantine i talk about how i, I bought some new products and i'm kind of disappointed with them so i'll get to them when i get to the steps of when i use them but it's really sad because i was really looking forward to them so if you guys recommend any products that you think i should buy or use because i'm ready to buy some new products i've had the same kind of routine for a very long time but i've had this routine with my makeup because it works and it looks really good and i love the products and how everything turns out but i love trying new things but i don't want to waste my money if you know what i mean now as you know brats have a tiny nose so i'm gonna do my best to contour my nose to the gods and erase it from my face i don't really know how i'm just gonna blend that vanish stick like kind of onto the, the bridge and side of my nose yeah i really want pink hair so bad i'm having like a identity crisis but i don't want to bleach my hair because i don't want to ruin it the pink stuff i used on it made it healthier i feel like it's very shiny i used three different things i used the l'oreal colorista washout they're all meant for blonde hair so that's where i went wrong but i thought i thought i could do it i couldn't and i used the schwa Kopf. I don't know how to say that. Ultra Brights Live Semi Permanent. That's what I use, but I don't recommend. Well, I do if you have blonde hair. But they were cheap, which is good. They were like really cheap. Yeah, I'm gonna brighten. I used the NARS Creamy Concealer in Vanilla. So basically, I really enjoy filming and making videos. And editing takes so long. I use Final Cut Pro, by the way. but And I really want to get more than one video out a week. But I have like a uni assignment each week. And I can't do it. I'm doing business, by the way. But it's just like hard for me. Anyway, I just, I'm trying. Okay, I'm trying. <laughs> All right, so now I'm taking my new product. Oh my God, this is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder for under eyes. I don't think it works. I'm patting it on. I don't think it does anything. Like, does that look more bright than that? No. So I don't recommend buying this, but I'm gonna use it anyway. <laughs> it's like getting up my nose. Okay, so the next new product I bought is the NARS Laguna Bronzer. It's not bad. It's actually kind of good, but I think I do prefer the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. It is very cool toned, and that's kind of good because the brats in this picture looks more cool toned than me currently. I'm gonna try and give myself that <laughs> that look. Am I the only person that is addicted to pimple popping? I love pimple popping so much. Like if I have like a tiny bump, I'm like <laughs> I need to like get it out because it's just so satisfying i kind of like the pain but i love watching videos dr pimple popper i could watch her for hours another thing that i love to watch you're probably going to find this absolutely disgusting it is absolutely disgusting but it's like extremely satisfying when i went to italy like a year or two ago and i was with julia all we would do is watch videos of mango worms and it's really sad so basically i think it's in south africa they have like a really big mango worm problem so basically what mango worms do is, I don't know if they do it to humans, but they do it to dogs and they like crawl in their skin. And then obviously the dogs need help. 
so when they go to the vet they have to be put asleep because it's really sad it's really painful they're put asleep and then the doctors like squeeze out all the worms and it's really satisfying but it's really sad but yeah their videos have like millions of views and i'd never heard of it but like i came across it because i was watching like pimple popping let's move on <sighs> so now it's time to contour the nasal cavity i need to erase my nose i'm gonna take a little brush and like just darken up the end it kind of looks a lot smaller all right this nose contour isn't bad but my nose still exists so that's not good so now i'm going to do the little iconic dot she has here there we go she doesn't have any eyeshadow under the eye but she does have eyeliner so i'm using the inglot cold pencil i'm going to do my whole waterline like so i look so weird <laughs> Okay, and the blush I bought. Oh, disappointment. So I wanted like a peach toned blush. So I bought the MAC New Romance Mineralize blush. It had really good reviews. However, I don't like it. I should have stuck to the NARS blushes. You can't really see, but it's really dusty. It's kind of like cream based. And like when you tap it, like so many particles like come off. It's a very light pink blush it's pretty but i don't think it's for my skin tone yeah miss yasmin over here she doesn't really have a blush over here like in this area on her it kind of looks like kind of plum tone blush but yeah i think i might buy like a blush palette because i'm really starting to get into like different kinds of blushes it's not bad it is it's a very barbie blush and we're not going for barbie today are we now i'm going to bank oh i almost fell I'm using the normal Laura Mercier translucent powder. I might as well spray with the Urban Decay All Nighter spray. The Morphe one is very good, the Morphe spray. However, I think it runs out very fast because it is continuous. Now I'm going to bake my nose. Try and erase its existence even more. Now for the lips, she has like a plum lip look. So I might take this Wicon brand from Italy. Now I might do this color and then go over with a brown on top. I think that'll work. I'm going to like... Oh my god, I look crazy. I'm going to kind of extend my upper lip so it looks like a curve, like in the picture. And now with my trusty Kylex Balmain, I'm going to go over that. Okay, I think that works. All right, now I'm going in with Celebrity Skin and I'm going to leave the lip liner visible. She has a very highlighted upper lip, so I'm going to get this. Oh. Alright, I'm really sorry. I don't know what lashes these are. I, I found them in my drawer in like a random box container and I don't think it's the right container at all. So I'm sorry, but I'm using Duo Lash Glue. I'm going to put these on a bit differently because I really want to cat eye because in the photo she doesn't really have any lashes on the front half of her eye they're mainly on the outer half of her eye what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the front half of the lash and i'm going to stick it like just before the middle of my eye so maybe where the start of my iris begins and then i'm going to take this and bring it up to where the end got glue up there but to where the end of the small little wing i created i'll explain for this eye again so you can hopefully see what i'm doing Take the start of the lash, put it just before the middle of your eye, and then with the lash band, follow it on the top of the liner. So like this. And it looks crazy, but we're going to fix it and make it look really good. And now with your liquid liner, you're going to go in underneath the lashes and fill in anywhere that might not be completely black. And then I'm going to go over the lash line. And now with the volume million lashes, I'm going to brush my actual lashes into these then i'm going to do the bottom lashes only on the outer corner though Woo! and then i still have a nose uh, brush that off and i'm going to get some highlighter to highlight my nose so it hopefully goes away and create a little dot and then a line up here and then with the fenty beauty highlighter i'm going to put a bit of that on my cheeks not too much all right so that's kind of the makeup look all done i'll spray my face now time for the hair. So really simple, really easy. I'm going to grab some hairspray and a comb. You know what? I'm just going to do it freehand. I'm just going to grab this hair, spray it, comb it onto my face. And I'm not going to pin it or anything. I'm just going to put it behind my ear. Let's do this side like this. And then with the other hair, brush it in front and then put it behind. So I'm going to brush in front, put it behind. And now you have Brat's hair. Now I put the sunglasses on. 
and the jacket. It's kind of the finished look, isn't it? This is from Kokai Fashion Nova, Princess of Holly, Kokai. And this is short sleeves, which is why I don't wear it anywhere, but it would be really cute if it was long sleeve, but unfortunately it's not, so I don't know why I bought it. All right, I'm kind of really happy. It's just like, I don't really look like a brat, so I'm just like inspired by a brat. her do you see the resemblance but yeah this was actually a really fun video to make i feel really cute thank you all so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe follow me at leah holton underscore on instagram at leah holton on tiktok see you guys in the next video i love you all so much bye <laughs>